everyone, this is Julie Tillman and I am super excited today to be joining a group of crafty YouTubers on the Sassy and Crafty Giveaway Hop. And we will all be sharing creations made with Sassy and Crafty stamps. Today I'm featuring the Salty But Sweet stamp set from Sassy and Crafty and I just love this little mermaid. I am watercoloring her with Shimmers Liquid uh, Shimmering Paints and um, I'm using a palette of uh, turquoise, purple, and pink because those seem like really good mermaid colors. I am a self-taught artist and I probably lean the most towards mixed media so I am not all about the techniques and I don't always follow the all the rules <laughs> but I do absolutely love the process of creating and I love watercolors even though I um sometimes forget the the main rules like don't watercolor next to something that's still wet <laughs> I'm just a little bit impatient and I want to just like get 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 at it so Anyways, um, so with watercoloring, you do need to dry your layers in between or go to a, a um, blank space to start with your next layer. Uh, while I am coloring, I will um, tell you a little bit about this hop. There is a giveaway, so one lucky um, entry will win a um, Sassy and Crafty stamp from their brand new release. So that's really exciting. This is open internationally and it will be open for one week. All of the details on how to enter and a link to the next Crafty YouTuber on the hop will be listed in the description box below. I will also link up the products I'm using today if you're interested in any of those that will be there that information will be there and now I am just going in I decided to do um alternating layers of turquoise pink and purple for her little scales and I am just going in and adding those and one of the um most important things about watercolor is to layer so you will see me going back in and just adding more color as things dry and just um, highlighting any places that I want a little bit um, more shading or more color more accent and so now I am bringing in some purple into her um, hair if you're not familiar with sassy and crafty stamps they are a relatively new stamping company and they are absolutely fabulous they have a great um team that uh is is very into education and they love stamping and they want to share it with you and their stamp line is so diverse. There's something, a little bit of something for everyone. There's sassy girls. There's like comic book style, um, like women um, with, you know, strong uh, words and sentiments and then thoughtful, meaningful sentiments. There's cute and there's there's just a little bit of something for every everyone and I have totally fallen in love with this company um and bought a ton of their stamps <laughs> and I don't see that stopping anytime soon um right now oh I did pull off that liquid frisket and I just I used a little gum eraser and I um uh, rubbed it off with my finger and now I am adding in her um, facial and body the 
coloring. I did um, get a little bit on her, her, her little side of her face, a little bit of that purple. So I'm just going to go in with um, some darker skin on that side and it will be just totally fine. There are no mistakes. It's just all a process. And those layers are what build character. Anyways, if you haven't checked out Sassy and Crafty, they also have an amazing line of stencils with some unique designs and it they are just like super, super fun to work with. So it is definitely worth clicking on over and checking out their company. And now I am just coloring her star, the little starfish and adding a little more accents to her skin. So important to dry in between those layers. I always forget, but <laughs> it is very important. I just love the shimmer. Like, don't you think a, mar a mermaid should like totally be sparkly? I think so. So this card took me um, about 45 minutes in total to complete. So I am going like turbo speed here. <laughs> it looks like I'm painting really fast, but it did um, take me the 45 minutes is about the usual for a mixed media card for me. So just so you know, I am not a turbo painter. This is like super sped up. Okay, I'm just finishing up with her coloring. I cut her out. I added a little hibiscus from the same um, stamp set and added that to her off screen. And now I am work moving on to the mixed media portion where I'm doing the background. I did this background on watercolor paper and I am using the same Colors of Shimmers paints, just um, adding, uh, painting them onto a little piece of acetate and spritzing with water and then smooshing onto my background. And this is one of my favorite ways to start a background. I just absolutely love smooshing. Now I have taken the droplet stencil from Sassy and Crafty and I am um, adding some sparkling white glamour paste from Stamperia. And this is going to give a nice thick texture. And so I am just adding that down and then I will make sure I have a thick coating because I want it to be really textured. And then I'm going to take my stencil pal and remove the excess. Um, you always want to make sure you kind of scrape off the lid and uh, clean out the product so that the lid is clean when you put the when you screw the cap back on so that it doesn't dry out um, now is for the big reveal those are so awesome I love those droplets and now I am going to take some shimmer spray and hint of mint and Jenny B blue to just add some more color to that and then I am going to do some splatters with the same colors of ink and then also bring in a white glimmer metallic ink um, for a little contrast in my splashes. And I did um, go over the lines off camera with a, with a black micron pen that any of the shimmer had kind of um, obscured a little bit. And now I am going to do a little vignette technique on the outer part of the background, kind of framing it with Distress Oxides and a blender brush. I'm using Peacock Feathers and Chip Sapphire just to give a nice little uh, vignette so that the eye is drawn to my sweet little mermaid. And I added the I'm done adulting Let's Be Mermaid sentiment, uh, put it on the background and added some fun sequins. And that is the finished card. Thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to check the description box below to enter and to see who's next. I'll see you next time.